Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today uh, on another ride out. A uh, little bit different today. Um, I'm out with my mate Sam and Nigel behind. Uh, they both own MT09s. Uh, Sam in front. He is. Uh, he's actually been talking. I mean, he's been talking about uh, a street triple 765 RS for a while. So I just thought. I uh, just decided to come and take one out for a ride. I did offer for him to take mine out and uh, have a ride on mine, but uh, yeah. So it'd be interesting to see his uh, his sort of view on it. Really, I mean, like I say, he's got an MT09. I think that's a 2017 or 18. I'm not sure. And old Nige behind, he's got he's riding there. MT09, I think this is a 2020, which is the same year as this one. Um, but yeah, anyway, street. Uh, he's actually on the R, so it's not the RS. There is a difference. There's a slight difference in the uh, uh, engine map, I think. Um, pretty similar, really. Uh, different suspension on the rear to this one, the RS. And uh, yeah, I'm not so saying it's very windy today. Hoping you can hear me okay. <laughs> looks a bit, actually looks a bit grey up there as well, so hopefully the old heavens ain't going to open up. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit the old uh, subscribe button. He's certainly not hanging about, is he? <laughs> uh, oh, he's going for the overtake. Already. Hoping the 360 crammer is not going to fly off. Yeah, stay there. Yeah, there is also a difference with the, with the R to the RS. I mean, he's actually after. He's looking at buying the RS. Uh, it's got the Olin suspension on the rear. You know, fully adjustable. Uh, and, uh, different. Um, so slightly different suspension unit on the R to the RS, but they just didn't have an RS available. So he's going to get an idea by riding this one what he thinks. So he's a little bit camera shy. So uh, I will ask him at the end of the ride what he thinks. But <laughs> we'll see what he uh, see what he's got to say about the bike. Um, yeah, certainly looks lovely from from the behind. Oh, she looks lovely from behind. <laughs> Uh, exactly the same as mine. Can't think of any other uh, changes on it. Um, they've actually this uh, this year they brought out a new colour scheme as well, which is uh, well, I say colour scheme. It's, it's a new um, well, new graphics. I think and uh, I think they're bronze wheels as well. So. Uh, Hopefully the camera's in the right position. That's just the mount. Just literally when I went to screw the camera on the mount broke. So yeah. But yeah. Uh, anyway, I have actually bought another another bike myself. Sorry if I'm shouting. It's like it's very windy. I have actually purchased another bike myself. I put a deposit down on one anyway, and uh, just for a little little update there. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, you'll all be revealed, uh, <laughs> or not revealed, maybe, who knows, but it's very, very windy, we could have picked a better day for this, really, road to dry, but, <laughs> okay, another thing I did notice on the R was, uh, it's got a different dash on there as well, um, no, no track rider mode either on that one. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Probably going to catch these lights. <laughs> countryside out this way kind of doing like a loop around uh, kind of through Thetford really and uh, 
see what he thinks of it. What are you thinking? Any good? <laughs> it's in a different, slightly different, well, there's a matte finish on this one. Yeah. Definitely a different riding position. Yeah. It's got an auto blipper. It's got an auto blipper. Yeah. Oh right, okay. Yeah, so I weren't sure about that. I weren't sure whether it had just the, uh, yeah. the you know the upshifter. Oh, pulled just pulled away in second there. I don't think he'd know it's there, uh, but he may do, but the difference between the suspension on, on the R to the RS uh, it's, a lot, it's a shame they didn't have an RS <coughs> But there you go Lovely, lovely corners out this way One of my favourite sort of routes this, to be honest um, So plenty more bike content on the channel, uh, ride out reviews and uh, all sorts really if you're interested in anything bike related. Well, I'm certainly not hanging about. <laughs> Take a left here uh, towards Newmarket. So I think we've got the bike for about, oh, about an hour. So it does give you a fairly good idea. Oh. Oh. Slip the gear there. That's like quite a lot. Sometimes, well, sometimes actually not quite a lot. Nigel's still hanging in there behind. Uh, he's recently purchased the MT-09. Uh, pretty sure, I think it's the SP actually as well. So, uh, no expense there. there. Cracking. another pair of gloves on today uh, RST gloves actually Sam's <laughs> I think he bought them from uh, one of the bike shows and he weren't quite comfortable in them so I'm trying them on see how we get on with them but they seem absolutely uh, so comfortable I don't like gloves when they're too thick you sort of lose the feel of the you know on the on the, on the bars and the controls and that talk about the controls I noticed on that R the the button clusters are, are different to uh, to this one, the RS. The RS looking uh, a lot better, to be fair. I mean, it's it's a more premium. There's a lot more um, premium parts, I think, on this one. Oh, looks like, looks like it's got uh, bobbins on there as well for the old paddock stand. Not sure on that colour, that's the matte, the matte finish. This one is the silverized metallic, but it's glossy. Lovely glossy uh, colour. It's nice to polish the machine, isn't it? Not very warm today, it's saying 17 degrees on there, but I, I find that hard to believe.
not really too sure why you'd actually choose the R over the RS. I know, I know he's not. He's looking at the RS, but they also do a lower, a lower seat height option on the R as well. Uh, you know, if you if you're a bit of a shorter rider, you could go for that option. But I had a little look at the spec sheet between the two of the bikes, just for. Uh, you know, just for my own curiosity, really, and there is a few slight differences. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can tailor these bikes out. Really, there's so many, uh, so many extras through the the Triumph. Uh, you know, website on that. Um, I'll actually have it as well. They say come with. Um, the warranty that uh, I think it's two-year warranty as well. Um, <laughs> it's not hanging about. <laughs> so yeah, you can choose all sorts. You know, all sorts of optional extras and uh, tailor the bike how you like, how you want. Really, I mean, I, I've not done anything really on this other than the than the uh, what do you call it heated grips and the tail, tail tidy on the rear end <coughs> and I, I, I honestly think that's a must on these bikes nowadays what with them being a the Euro 5 compliant they, they tend to they tend to have the number plate it has to be over the rear tire sort of over the rear tire um, which doesn't look that appealing does it but it's so windy even through here We've got a wind tunnel Yeah, it'd be inter interesting to know his views on that. Thing is, he has got a, I mean, the bike he's got now is a, an amazing uh, machine. He's got a full Aquaprovic, Aquaprovic exhaust on there, and I, I can't follow him on it. That's so loud. That really is so loud. I, I don't generally wear earplugs, but I think if I went out and I follow, <laughs> followed him about like that today, I mean, we've come quite a way today. Probably been on the bike for a good hour and a half. What I'm eating old knowledge and that, and, uh, I, th I think, yeah, being behind him on that, on that bike, uh, I definitely need earplugs. I was quite tempted as well just then to jump on the <laughs> on the uh, Speed RS, the new 1200 again. I mean, there is a video on the channel. I'll put a link up in the corner somewhere for that, but um, I thought it's probably best I didn't really, <laughs> because I, I'm, uh, I, I mean, uh, if you haven't seen that video, but I, I, I absolutely love that bike, and I, I, could, I could quite easily um, swap uh, machines, but I'm trying to. Well, I've just bought another bike, so <laughs> I don't think that would go down very well <laughs> if I uh, traded this in for another one. God. Certainly um, skinned me out, I should think. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the new... Hello, sir. Uh, looking forward to the new machine. That's probably about four or five weeks away. It's being hand-built. Uh, There's only sort of 300 of them made. So they're uh, in, lim in limited numbers, so I'm looking forward to, buy, uh, to uh, getting my mitts on that. That'd be nice. So yeah, we've had quite a... Uh, selection of different types of roads really so uh, just on a little bit of the dual carriageway there the same thing with these naked bikes is you get a lot of wind but obviously a lot of wind blast you can buy a screen obviously but, uh, yeah. I think the only thing with it with uh, the Sam's kind of you know I, th I know I know he's taken out the 
the Speed RS, the new 1200. And uh, yeah, I mean that's that, that is a completely different bike. Uh, you know, that's, I think it's about 177 brakes. The last sort of bike he test rode, so I know um, he was after the 1050. You know, the older one, though, the the, the predecessor. Uh, but I don't think they had one of those either, unfortunately, for him to jump on. So maybe I mean that lots. He's got the MT09, so it's a it's a fairly fairly. Uh, Pokey machine that one so yeah well, we'll see that is the thing when you you know when you're looking at upgrading a, a decent bike to start with then uh, I mean I personally I do love the RS um, as you'll know by all, uh, you know all of my other videos if you've seen any of those um, yeah Looks like he's taking some fuel in it before he takes it back. Well, the fuel just come on. How was it? Uh, was there not a lot in it then? Well, it was half a tank. Yeah. What do you think then? Really comfortable. Yeah. Really planted. Yeah. But power delivery is like nothing compared to me and I don't think. No, that's what I thought. I thought um, you've rode the other one, the 1200 as well. Yeah. So. I think you might have to try the 1050. Yeah. No, not today, I'll say to him. Yeah. Thing is, with, that, with you riding that, you'll see how much lighter than me. Well, I'm, I'm stone, huh? yeah, you're a fat bastard. <laughs> 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 you didn't hear me say that, did you? <laughs> what? How much? I don't know, stick a fiver in. Don't fill it up. <laughs> I'm not sure on that colour e I'm not sure also with this. If you've got any fuel on there. Yeah. Yeah, do you know do you know what I'm saying? If you've got any fuel on there, I don't know how that would uh I don't know. I'm not a lover of this this uh, matte finish really myself. Don't get me wrong. But this is different as well, the yeah. the display. And also these buttons as well, the clusters here. Yeah. Not sure. I thought it was really uncomfortable because it's like this uh, seating position, but yeah. it wasn't too bad to be honest, but it's, no. it's pretty out of the way. Yeah. It looks a lot bigger than it for that. It does, doesn't it? That is, uh, uh, like I said to you, there is there is changes. Yeah. I think that's a shame you couldn't, I mean you can have a go on mine if you want. Yeah, I might do, yeah, only a little bit. Do you know what I mean? It looks completely different, doesn't it? Different. Unless that's the lower one, they do a lower seat, a lo one with a lower seat height. Yeah, okay. So that could be. Yeah, that, I, I did have a look at the specs earlier, and it did say uh, there was a few uh, things I did notice, and that was one of them, the height yeah. of the the bars and that. It's just you can see as they're sitting there, yeah. there's a massive difference between the two, isn't there? Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. What are you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry about the swearing. <laughs> it's typical Nigel swearing. <laughs> you were on video then. You just swore. You were on video then. You just swore. <laughs> right. So yeah. Well, there you have it. Anyway. Um, he seems, uh, yeah, I'm not sure a lot, so he has taken out the, the 1200, so. But there does look a noticeable difference in the two, between the two bikes here, I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, but anyway, we'll see, see what happens anyway, and uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care, see you soon. Oh, Nigel.